This is a rotating axis with a length of L1 and a rotation speed of S1. A second axis is attached to it, with a length of L2 and a rotation speed of S2. When they rotate together, various patterns can be created with different parameters. A negative speed indicates counterclockwise rotation, while a positive speed indicates clockwise rotation. Similar curves can be produced using spirograph sets. However, the spirograph gear parameters are preset and constrained. We have more freedom with this digital version. What's more, we can fill in these patterns with colors. By the end of the video, I will share the Desmos link I've prepared where you can play around with different parameters or generate a random pattern with just one click. An example of this two-axis system in real life is the geocentric orbit of planets. From an Earth-centered perspective, the Sun appears to revolve around Earth, while another planet, Venus as an example, revolves around the Sun. This results in Venus's orbit appearing like this from Earth's viewpoint. This is known as the Rose of Venus. To explore more geocentric orbits of planets, check out the video on the end screen. If you think about it carefully, you'll realize what determines the patterns is not the lengths and the rotation speeds, but their ratios. When the length ratio is fixed, the lengths impact the size, but not the shape. When the speed ratio is fixed, the rotation speeds don't even have to be constant. With just two numerical values, we can create unlimited patterns. Don't you love the beauty of mathematics? If you are like me, you may be interested in what determines the number of folds. For example, why this is a nine-pointed star. And why this is a five-petal flower. It looks like if the speed ratio is A to B, then the number of folds of the pattern is the absolute value of A minus B. But why? Let's take a closer look. It looks like a petal is complete when O, A, B are in a line and O is between A and B. To better understand this, let's add an A-centered perspective. A goes around O is equivalent to O goes around A in the same speed. Imagine you and your friend run on a circular track in the same direction. You run 7 laps while your friend runs 2 laps. Then, there are 5 times you pass your friend from behind. If you run in opposite directions, then you come across each other nine times. Whether my explanation has been helpful or not, you can always rely on this formula. For example, if you want to create a tenfold pattern, you know how to set the speed ratio. 13 to 3, or negative 9 to 1 are just two of the options. Changing the length ratio also creates interesting animations. If you have some interesting discoveries about how the patterns are related to the ratios, please share them in the comments. Here is a question for you. What parameters generate a straight line? You can guess the answer by observing, then test it with the Desmos link I will share in a few seconds. Leave your answer in the comments. 
now, let's take a look at the Desmos link I've prepared. You can generate a random pattern with just one click. Or, play around with the parameters to see how the numbers impact the pattern. Find the link in comments. I hope you will have fun with it. And don't forget to check out the video for geocentric planetary orbits.